need to get myself in the center of the frame. I feel like this is quite good over here. All right, boys, in today's video, I kind of want to touch on, I'll just sit up like this. I kind of want to touch on keeping things effective. We've talked about keeping it sustainable, keeping it simple, but at the same time, what you're doing has to be effective as well. I could probably eat 3,500 calories worth of clean food for the rest of my life. But I don't think I'd, you know, make optimal progress. Yet that's something that's sustainable, it's something that's simple, but it's not going to give me the most progress. The thing that's going to be effective for me right now is cutting down all the body fat, getting that, you know, nice lean base frame, and then, you know, essentially lean bulking from there, going through another cutting phase, and yeah, the <laughs> rinse and repeat until you've achieved the physique that everyone thinks is unnatural. Yeah. That's that that's the goal that every natural lifter wants, I swear. It's getting getting the physique that people think is from steroids. But yeah, what you're doing has to be effective, and the reason why I say this is because I started this cut on 3,100 calories. I can't say that properly. I started this cut on 3,100 calories. Felt really good. You know, I didn't feel like as full as I'd like to, but you know, I, I felt somewhat full throughout the day. Cut was very easy. Cardio, you know, obviously I was a lot fatter then, so not as easy as it is now, but you get the point, like, wasn't too bad. 2,900, that's when things started to get, you know, a bit, uh, I started, started to feel a little bit hungry in between meals. And now my metabolism, <laughs> why do I always stutter literally like every five seconds in a video? Anyway, my metabolism is slowed down once again. Fat loss has slowed down once again and we've got to drop calories, which isn't sustainable. But then again, we're not gonna be cutting for the rest of our lives. And that's why for this eight to nine months that I am cutting, things have to be effective. It has to be literally like smash and grab, grab and go. Because the longer that I cut for, the more unsustainable essentially it's gonna be. But then again, I can't cut too quickly because that's not sustainable as well. It has to be a good balance. Things have to be both sustainable, but also effective. I can't just keep cutting on 2,900 calories, hoping to, you know, get down to 12% body fat. Fat, you know, storage of fat is a survival mechanism. Be believe it or not, your body storing fat is a survival mechanism. So you're kind of fighting against, you are kind of in a sense fighting against your body to try and lose body fat. And that's why, you know, you've got to be effective when you do it. Because your body will adapt to however many calories you're eating. Mine adapted to 2,900. Not fully yet, but, you know, enough to warrant a calorie drop. And now we're on 2,700. I can't say that probably. 2,700. We're on 2,700 calories. Hunger is going to get a little bit worse. Cravings might start to set in right now. Like, obviously, you'd love to be smashing your face with ice cream and lollies, but it's not something that's always in my mind. But I think the deeper that we get into this cut, the worse cravings are going to get. And that's something that's not sustainable. Like, you can't be having cravings for the rest of your life. But at the same time, when... We're not going to be cutting for the rest of our lives. By the time that we are cutting, we've got to be effective. Calories are dropping once again, 2,700. And yeah, things have to be a good balance between sustainable, but also effective. Whatever you're doing, whatever diet you're doing, it has to work. It has to give you progress. Yeah. I feel like these unscripted videos, they're not really like optimal i don't know if that makes sense like when when i script the videos it's you know all the ideas are kind of presented in like an organized way and it's kind of like you get the information and you get out whereas you've got to like kind of sift through all my waffle when i go unscripted 
But at the same time, the more I like, do these unscripted videos, the more, like the better I get at keeping my thoughts concise. But yeah, I don't know boys. We might do a mix between scripted and unscripted videos on the channel just so that I get better at, you know, talking to you without a script, but also so that we do have the scripted videos just there on the channel to help us get views and subscribers because like I'm not dumb. Like I look at my analytics, the videos that I script, edit, those are always the ones that do better. And those are the ones that I'll be honest, I enjoy making just a little bit more and yeah, they're just a lot more fun to make. But these are these are just easy to make the unscripted one. Another thing that I need to work is my public speaking skills, but I'm talking for too long, we're gonna end it here.